Assalamu alaikum. This podcast has been brought to you by Seekers Guidance, the global Islamic seminary. Help us spread the light of prophetic guidance to millions around the world by becoming a monthly supporter. Make a small donation at seekersguidance.org slash donate. As little as $10 a month can help people find life-changing guidance. Um, I'm a student living in Belgium and studying cooking culinary school, uh, the French cuisine to be specific. How do I handle the food and products? Is there a fiqh related to working in a kitchen as a job? Presumably that there may be uh, not non-halal food in the, in the cuisine. Is there a fiqh related to, to handling food? So, yes. Um, and, you know, there, there's fiqh related to the halal and haram of food and one should be aware of, one is obligated to be, to be aware of the limits related to any area of human activity that one is engaged in. Right? So anything that one is going to engage in, it's a good that the, you know, the questioner asks this question. The basic governing principle is that any area of human activity that one is going to engage in, it is necessary to, to, to know before engaging in it what is the ruling of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala regarding that area of human activity and what are the limits of the specific issues that arise in it. So, given that, one needs to be careful with respect to halal and haram, you know, haram food ingredients, particularly um, meat, because haram meat is haram to consume. Okay? Haram meat is haram to consume, and anything that is haram to consume is also haram to present to another because the, the principle is that anything that you cannot consume yourself you cannot give to another anything that you cannot consume yourself you cannot give to another so therefore cooking haram meat would be problematic it right? would be problematic And one also has to be careful about the handling of such ingre ingredients because um, meat that is haram is also, um, which is meat that's not been you know, ritually sla uh, slaughtered, is also considered filthy. It, it's considered filthy. Um, so it puts several constraints um, upon one. Right? And, and then the issue comes of halal and haram ingredients. The, the wisdom behind the pro prohibition of certainly of meat unless it's ritually slaughtered is that you know eating meat is requires killing an animal and the taking of a human life is a grave matter but so is the taking of any life right? it's, a, it's a serious matter so there are limits placed as to how one can take even an animal life for the purpose of consumption so that we appreciate the inviolability invi of not just human life but also animal life and we recognize the blessing that it is for us to have the permission to um, to eat um, that animal um, so th there are limits placed so how does one navigate that as as a, as a Muslim you know, who wants to, for example, become a chef, that you know, th there are perhaps challenging limits with respect to that. Um, particularly because working in a mainstream kitchen where presumably meat will be one of the things that is served would be very challenging for a Muslim. It right? would be very challenging for a Muslim because one cannot... Uh, one cannot cook or prepare the haram. Okay? In particular cases and circumstances, one needs to cons consult um, reliable scholars on how to navigate that. Um, uh, but those are you know, some of the, some of the criteria. One should take the means to learn about the halal and haram related to to meat and other um, food ingredients as well.
um, in, a, in, a, in a broad sense. But the biggest challenge with food arises with meat. Thank you for listening. This podcast was brought to you by Seekers Guidance, the global Islamic seminary. Visit seekersguidance.org to access reliable Islamic knowledge taught by qualified teachers. We offer a wide range of courses, podcasts, articles, and a world-class answer service. Support us in spreading free, reliable Islamic knowledge to millions around the world by becoming a monthly supporter. Visit seekersguidance.org slash donate and make a small monthly commitment today. Our beloved Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, said, Whoever guides someone to goodness will have a similar reward. So don't forget to share this podcast and spread prophetic guidance.